morning. How are you? I'm doing swell. I did wake up in the middle of the night at like 3 to 3.45 and I, I I'd sometimes I woke up in the middle of the night. It's hard to go back to bed and what I do for 45 minutes. Oh, I ruminated about something that I was looking up on the internet and it just bothered me and I just kept looking up and I just kept, I just, it was so bad. And I just kept thinking about it and it bothered me and I'm not going to tell you what it is but like, you know, you can't look it up, like look up something and then it comes up with like the worst possible things, like the most exotic things or the most like, are you kidding me? Like, this is what I have? Like, whatever. I, oh yeah, so I was looking at, so I was like, hey, I gotta get my mind off of this. Like, this is annoying. This is frustrating. This is really making me mad. I decided to look up some new music and I, hold on just one second. I decided to look up some new music and I was looking up rap. I like rap and hip hop and stuff like that, but it's like, I don't love the concept of how some rappers expose their women in their songs. I just, that bothers me. And I don't love, there's a playlist called Emo Rap. I liked 90% of the songs on that playlist. I even added the playlist to my playlist. Like it was good. And I actually had, well, I only listened to the, so like, this is what I do. I, I like, I don't even listen to the beginning. I, I, I go to the lyrics and I click on the first like lyrics, just like get a gyps of it. Like I don't have time to like listen to the whole song, just like find music. And then I'll go through and I'll listen to the whole song and then whatever. But I just wanted to find music. And again, I liked 90% of the songs and it just was emo rap. And I guess I, that's my vibe. I liked the best moments my freshman year of college. I'm supposed to give her three seconds to sniff. Once it gets past that, it's too much. Okay, so the best parts of college. The first thing, I got invited to two formals in college. Well, no, I think I got invited to maybe a, another one, but two main formals, and I'm so grateful. I'd rather get invited to two formals than every single formal because these two formals, we're in the Ozarks. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I love the Ozarks and I had such a freaking blast. And shout out, should I shout out the fraternities? Because of this, if my, when, when I go super, when I'm super famous and everyone follows me on YouTube and subscribes, then they're gonna, all the guys are gonna be like, oh, I wanna join that fraternity because Hannah said that they took them to the Ozarks or something like that. No, <laughs> it's a fun trip. Okay, so my memory is kind of blocked, so I'll try to remember. So I think I went, and the one memory I have is we stopped at A&W, that place to eat, I don't know. We went to the formal and we got to go on a yacht. And let me tell you, that was cool. I was wearing a green teal dress and I took a picture in front of the yacht like Titanic. <laughs> that was cool. My, my date was so awesome. We didn't really talk that much, but he was really awesome. He was super sweet. And then the next day he's like, do you want to go on like a journey? Well, like, uh, he didn't say journey. That's how I described like a hiker, uh, go somewhere. And I was like, yeah. So we went and we walked and we went to this like all green land and I took pictures and there's like a little like cool lake and or, like a pond and it was cool. It was like, I was not hungover, like I did not, I was cool. I don't even think I blacked out because if you didn't know, I had a drinking problem, blacked out every time I drank. But whenever I was in the Ozarks, I just didn't. Maybe it was just like not on super special occasions, I don't know, but that was super fun. What else do I remember? I remember it just being so awesome. Okay, so I guess we're, we're gonna talk about not the best moments in Lincoln. We're gonna talk about Ozarks. I got invited to uh, a second formal in the Ozarks. Like what the heck, I'm just meant to be in the Ozarks. I sang, maybe I have a video. What was the song? What was the song? I can't breathe for the first time. I'm still moving on, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, now I get what I want. Okay, so I sang that song with like a, I was smoking something too. I don't know, I don't think I was, uh, whatever it was super fun and then what else happened and then oh i jumped in the lake it was cold i don't think we were on a boat but we went to a bar i got it was dinner it, it was cool so the ozarks i had such a blast both times and then the third time i went to the ozarks was with my friend at the time I think we had the Ozarks too and we had a blast and now that was fun because we went with her brother and his friend and me, me, her and our other friend and we went on the boat and we and her brother was driving the boat and we were just cruising and the reason why I'm telling you this is because the feeling on a boat cruising is like such a free feeling. It's just, I can't describe it. And this is when I was, uh, so I, uh, I don't know, that was super fun too and swimsuit 
But that time, I mean, we went like tubing and I tried to water, what well, wake water board. <laughs> but it's just the Ozarks is a special place, I believe. And I think every time I went there, I had an amazing time. And that's, I'm glad that I reminisced over that because I don't reminisce over memories that often. So it went from college to the Ozarks because I don't give a fuck about college. Sorry, I hated it, but I loved it. It was like the worst, best year of my life, my freshman year of college. <laughs> it was absolutely the worst, but I had fun. I'm gonna eat my <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna eat my oatmeal and then we're gonna go on our clue adventure. I don't know where we're going yet. I don't wanna go too far because, well, we had a great walk, okay? We had a great topic to talk about. I heart the Ozarks, I heart to go again. If you wanna take me to the Ozarks, you let me know. But I got my oatmeal, I have to start off my day right because I never ate breakfast for like years. So I eat breakfast now and I think that's important to fuel your body in the morning. I mean, after I walk first, because I just, we just gotta go. And no, cause we're not, I think what I learned is, uh. All right guys, so what's up? I'm Hannah and we are gonna go on a clue adventure. I looked up on my maps. What's, what's not too far away? What, where can we find some clues? So I pull my maps, I zoom out and, um. Hi, there's a place called Travis and that's a clue because I like Travis Scott. So, and there's a fluff right here. You see that fluff? Okay, so we're gonna go to Travis and we're gonna find some clues, we're gonna take some pictures and we are going to figure out why it's called Travis, okay? All right, so there's a clue I'm stuck on my way to Travis. That's interesting. Oh, maybe I know why. I think there's a block up ahead. We can go slow. So Travis is a gas station. Can I zoom right there? Travis is a gas station. I've been here before. I had no idea it's called Travis. That's strange. Um, there's people here. I don't know if I want to get out for clues, but we're gonna get out for some clues. We're gonna take out some pictures. So, um, Travis, why did you take me here? What is here that I need to find out? Tell me. I want to know. Okay. I know exactly why I was brought here. Right here. Right here. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I was brought here for that specific. Oh my god, there's so many clues on the ground. Let me decipher them. A can, wrapper, cloth, teriyaki jerky. Oh, this is the best clue there is. What is that? Jeffrey 1388. Jeffrey 1388, why did you bring me here? This is so, oh my God, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wow. Tough times never last, but tough people do. That's why I was brought here. Oh my God, and there's so many clues. We got a triangle, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna take some pictures, but yeah, that's the clue. That's why Travis brought me here, for me to read that. We're gonna go to one more spot to find clues and to take pictures because the pictures here didn't turn out that good. Um, I want really good solid pictures and, but we have clues. We got them. Thank you, Travis. I almost forgot to show you the clues that I found. Look. Look at the clues. I don't, arrows, arrows left, right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, nine, nine things each. What's nine plus nine, 18? Yeah, so it's fenced in and it looks like something's fenced in. You can tell, oh wait, no, fenced out because it's the barbed wires, it's different. So it's like when, hold on, I'm gonna get in trouble. Going fast. Coming and that was scary. Oh shoot. And there is a huge tractor. Holy guacamole. I don't know, but the Travis thing was a big clue. I don't know, that was strange. I think that was like a sign from above that, um, yeah, so this was a cool clue journey. A cool clue journey. Can't wait to decipher the clues with you. 
to go through the clues and I was hesitant. My mom always calls when I'm on a journey. 